Hey, what's up, guys? Wow. Look at this beauty here. Well, bam. Super special day today as we welcome this piece into our collection. And it is available for sale. We just need to reverse engineer and admire it a bit before selling it off. But holy crap, look at this piece. It is a John Bambiesbrook Armadilla Game Ready Mask dating from 1994. That is 25 years, guys. It's been 25 years since this mask has been made. Uh, we are in 2019 right now, in case people watch this video later on. But yeah, this mask is dating from 1994. And finally, man, like after all this time that I've been watching John Bambi's bro wear this mask as a kid, as a 10 year old. With the Panthers and just going like, holy shit, that is a beautiful mask. Finally, we get to touch one in person. After so many years. We're going to take an in-depth look at this mask today and look at all the little details because finally we get to touch it as much as we want and analyze it and play with it. So starting from the chin, you got that infamous, that famous Armadilla logo. And it's just like a, it looks like it's just a sticker that was put on. So... First off, not impressed with that. There's a lot of things about this mask that I'm not impressed with, honestly, but it is iconic because Van Beesbrook wore this style exactly to play with the Panthers. So that's what makes it iconic. But there's a lot of things on this mask that's like, first of all, it's so light, man. It's the first time we hold an armadillo. I cannot believe how light this mask is. It, it feels like a mask you would pick up at like Walmart in the kids department. It's like, it feels like a flimsy plastic. I'm not sure what the material is. Yeah, that's my wife, she just came in. I'm not sure what the material uh, used to make this mask was, but this is an actual game ready mask. This is literally made to the specifications of what John Van Beesbrook would have worn to go play on ice. See, it's here, it's CSA approved. Custom made for John Van Beesbrook. And then you got the serial number on there, the RSM. The Armadillo logos. And we'll take a look at the inside a bit more after, but like this feels like, this feels like styrofoam. This is like a thin layer of styrofoam here instead of, you know, a thick uh, shock absorbent padding. Yeah, I'm criticizing it, but that's that's just my first impressions of it. It's the first time we get to play with one, so, you know. Now, the positive part. The artwork, man. Holy crap, what a cool... I'm gonna swear in this video. I'm allowed to. What a cool fucking design this panther is. Holy shit. Iconic. Just clean lines. And we were just talking about this recently. If you want to judge how good a uh, the artwork on a mask is, if you sit on the top, top, like, on the top bench in the rosters, in the rafters, and then you look down and you, you, you could, like, determine which goalie it is, that's a good piece of art. And this panther, you cannot mistake it. So the artwork, amazing, and the shape of the armadillo, it's so unique. Look at how wide it is. And you got this ridge here that just goes all across the forehead. Just goes all around the mask. Oh yeah, I didn't show you guys the sides yet. So let's pan out and get a nice view of the mask. So what's so special about this mask is that uh, it was autographed in 1994 by John Van Beesbrook. And we had acquired this mask from a person that had acquired it from the Panthers directly. So he used to be a shop owner in Florida, a sports shop owner, and had acquired this from the Florida Panthers in 1994. 
So here you see that there was 93 made, but we were said that it actually was not uh, all produced at once. So I'm not sure if they got all the way to 93. And 93 being the first year of the Panthers. So that's why they made these masks to commemorate uh, the Panthers starting of the franchise. And they made it to the exact specifications of a game mask that Van Beesburg would have used on ice at that time. So that's the story behind the mask. Just panning in and looking at the grill. I like how the, the grill is painted red in the outside and white in the inside. I always wonder as a kid, is that an incomplete paint job or did the painter actually want it like that? So that's a question. But it's iconic the way it is. So now if you do a Van Beesbrook mask, you got to have the exterior red, interior white. And then you got an autograph here by the original painter. Strauss. Yeah, man. The autograph from uh, John Van Beesbrook is just beautiful. Black Sharpie here. You got the thinner straps. It's such a light mask. Let's take a look at the back plate. So you got the Beezer B, I'm assuming. I'm not sure what's going on here with the artwork and the paint on the Z. I always thought it was really ugly, but really, really cool at the same time. Such an iconic mask. And then you got the logo uh, on vinyl sticker again on the top of the armadillo. This mask is special because there's like a black um, plastic rubber that goes around it. We're not used to seeing this for a goalie mask. The rubber goes all around. Has a nice feel to it, nice touch. Looks cool too. This gold paint is so beautiful, man. Holy shit. Yep, if you sit on the rafters, for sure, you're gonna know which goalie it is. And it was Darren Pang that said, a good mask, you, if, you're, if you're a TV announcer and you look at it from the top, you will know which goalie it is. So this one should, like is the standard textbook definition of that. So you see the clips here. Let's see how the back plate is laced. Like so. It's got a bit of foam here. Nicely cut white foam. Look at how thin this part is. Trying to zoom in. The camera won't cooperate. Oh, there you go. See how thin? Crazy, huh? And then, the other side. Oh, sorry about that. Trying to zoom back out. You have the darker navy blue solid paint. What a cool paint job right here where the whiskers are. So yeah guys, I think uh, this mask is gonna be for sale. Uh, it's gonna be priced very high at the beginning because we don't really actually wanna sell it. And we still want to play with it. And it's a one of one. It's very hard to find. Um, it's not a one of one. But you know. With this inscription. And this autograph. We have never seen another one like this. In the last 10 years or more. Of collecting. And of being in the business. So we're probably going to be targeting around. 9,950 USD. For this mask 
and payment plans will be available, of course. Just have to contact uh, GoalieMaskCollector.com. I hope you guys enjoy this in-depth look because I am loving this mask way too much. This is Andy. I'm checking out, guys. Cheers.